Hi everyone, welcome to my Wraith Guide. So, to start off, we will just be looking through her abilities. First is her tactical, Into the Void. So, with this ability, you have, with the click of a button, a phase that makes you completely invulnerable to any damage, including the ring. It lasts for a very short time. However, it is extremely useful to reposition behind cover, say from here to here, here to here, here to here, wherever you really want to go. So, a good use of this ability would be, say, you were right here, you were being shot at completely in the open, you can phase, and be able to quickly reposition behind here for a better angle on your opponents. One very important thing to note about this ability is when you use it, right now I'm just walking at my sprint speed, when you use it you are slowed in the animation before it actually activates, however once it does activate you do have a 25% movement speed increase. So, that's basically it on our tactical. It's great to reposition. That's what it does. Moving on, our passive, called Voices from the Void. This is extremely self-explanatory. Every time that someone aims at you, sees you, there's a drone in the area, or aims a sniper at your head, you get a audio cue telling you that there are is, and if you have teammates, a little prompt will appear on your screen to warn them or tell them that someone's aiming at you. This helps for generally gaining information of who's around you, knowing if you're about to get cravered in the face. Just, it's great. And these, and the two, the tactical and the passive, combine very well because if you hear there's a sniper in the area, you can just press that cue and go behind cover so you don't get your head blown off. Here. So, that's her passive and tactical. After I explain the ultimate, we'll go into some more advanced tips on how to use her, what to do. So, with regards to her ultimate, it's called Dimensional Rift and it links to locations for a minute with portals. So, this ultimate is amazing for repositioning. It is probably one of the best positioning tools in the game. So, you press your ultimate, you make a portal, you walk, or run, do whatever, anywhere else, say behind cover, then you make another portal right here. And you can just travel between the two for 60 seconds and if you are not wearing a golden helmet right here on your ultimate you it's going to go away it's going to despawn once your ultimate charge hits 29 so that's very useful to know when it's going to close so the max distance of the ultimate I believe is 75 meters so you should definitely note that. Another thing, while using Wraith's ultimate, your tactical gets a nice little change. So, when you're using the ultimate, you move here, you can actually also press your tactical and it's immediate. You're instantly in the void and placing a portal. And when you come out, bam, portal, portal. So this is especially useful for if you're just, you know, running across a field with your portal, trying to place it, and you're getting shot at, just bam, press your tactical, you're, you're invincible. You're completely undetectable. With the ultimate, it's great if your teammate is down, say here, 
and there this is behind cover you just place a portal and reposition them to a safer spot or you can get the res on them another thing you can try and do with the ultimate is right before you actually place the portal you can ping around the map to see exactly how far wherever you want to go is and as long as it's under 75 meters you will be able to place your ultimate there as long as you walk in a straight line <laughs> so now with the tips for using wraith in this game so number one wraith is as you can see an assault character. She is designed. Her purpose is to go in and deal as much damage as possible and then get out. So, before her tactical got nerfed earlier on, it was insane. You would go in, deal as much damage as possible, hit your Q, and go back out. Now that's still kind of the case, but you do have to be a little bit more careful. So, how, how should you play Wraith? Well, you don't camp. What you do, you should go in, try and knock a person, try and deal as much damage as possible, get behind cover, use your Q, and then go back to safety. And then pop a heal. That is what you should do with Wraith. That's how you will succeed with Wraith. That's how play right in this game. Very aggressive. But you know, don't leave your teammates, don't be that guy. Yeah. Number two. A very advanced thing you can do with Wraith's ultimate. I think maybe you may have heard of it. It's called kidnapping. So you place a portal somewhere. Go walk right up to someone. Hit your Q, walk right in front of them and then just go ahead and place your end portal and try and basically put your portal kind of like right behind them or right in front of them depending on where they're moving and in the hope that they will go into the portal go back over to this side where you may have like gas traps or lots of fences everywhere <laughs> or you can just have your team with, you know, guns pointed right at the portal and then just laser them as they come out. Either works, really, it's whatever you want to do. So, that's called kidnapping. It's really hard. I can't even do it that well. It is extremely difficult to get good at. But, if you can do it, it's really hilarious, really rewarding, and makes a great clip. So, that's number two. Moving on to number three. Something you can do. Let me just get the charge shower quickly. But with your ultimate, you may have noticed this, you may have not, it's okay. When you place your first portal on your ultimate, it makes a very distinctive sound. Listen. You hear that do that is the sound that everyone hears. When you make your when you put your ultimate. So, what you can try and do if you're in like a higher tier lobby, maybe gold, plat, diamond, whatever, um, people will recognize that, and they know that since you are in your ultimate, you cannot shoot, you cannot defend, you're going away. So they will push your team probably because they know it's a three v two at that point since you're not even involved. What you can do is you can place your portal. Get the get that audio cue, and right at the top, it's, you see Rift Energy 99.99. As long as that number is uh, is above 95, you can actually cancel it and get your alt charge back. So, what you can do, you can pull out your gun, place your portal, and immediately take it down. So that team jumps on you, pushes you and you're ready for them. You're kind of waiting with guns level. 
Wait, because they think you're kind of off, like, over here somewhere. Just making your portal. When, in fact, you're right here. Ready to kill them. Now, I mentioned this before. But, a great thing to do is to put your portal somewhere and be running out. And if you're getting shot or if your passive activates, just hit your Q. It's basically immediate and offers a great amount of protection when you're doing your portal. Now, one extremely important thing to note. I can't demonstrate this in the fire range. Guess you'll just have to take my word for it. When you are using your tactical, which is into the void your face. You cannot open or close doors. So, if you do see a wraith just phasing around in a room, go ahead and just shut the doors and she won't be able to move anywhere. Note that when you are phasing, you still can take the blinds. <laughs> However, and this has got me killed multiple times, when you're using your ultimate, you cannot use zip lines. Zip lines are the one thing you can you can open doors, close doors, basically do whatever except for attack, aim, and use zip lines. Zip lines are what you just can't do. So with that, I think that concludes the Wraith Guide. If you have any questions, please put it in the comment section below. I will be reading all of those comments um please leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you want to see more of this and yeah see you in the next one